Hey, and welcome back to our Absolute Channel. Today we're going to play another and final episode of Hogwarts Legacy. It's been one hell of a wild ride, but we are going to move on to something else very soon. However, we got some unfinished business. And I think we had a couple of quests to do. I thought there was a broom upgrade still pending. Anyway, <clears throat> first up, let's go and see Poppy. This is quite a dramatic story that was unfolding to do with, wasn't there? It's fast travel here. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I'm hand to mouth on episodes right now, so it's been a lot of Harry Potter in a short space of time. But we'll see. So what day? This is going to come out Saturday and I'm filming it on Tuesday. All the work travel has messed up my schedule, but where are we heading? Over here. Oh yeah, we're talking to the centaurs. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. Well, I'm not saying this is the last episode forever. It's just I'm taking a main break from making this mainly serious. I'm going to play something else that I'll reveal at the end. So stay tuned. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, Poppy. Let's get these ready in case we have to drop a uh, oh, curse on them. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Oh. I don't understand. Once you tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Blind optimism. I like it. Tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. <laughs> My God, imagine. The second option, so rude. Having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. How do they know? We'll meet with them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Uh-oh. Well, this is playing like mashed potato through a sieve. What is going on? That is back now. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Oof. They're gonna shoot them all. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three Ooh. of your heads. <sighs> Did be able to get out of that one. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me. Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the I've got forest. loads of moonstone. Why not? That's I, on good. the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. 
Sounds good to me. Let's go, pops. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? <laughs> it was annoyingly cryptic. Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a Good king? question. Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Let's go then. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. Oh, well, let's go. I'll let you know what I find. Load it up. No. Also, we've reset our graphics start drivers and re... Oh my god! Man, we are we are just gonna keep going around all over the place. There is a lot potentially left to do. Um So yeah, I've updated my graphics drivers. Revalidated my game files. It crashed twice on launch. But we're gonna see how far we get, but I'm relieved that we got through the game before we have any of these issues, because it would have drove me mad. Anyway, positive vibes to the undercraft. Let's see what Seb's saying. He's going to be in shock still after he killed his uncle. Spoiler. Where is he? She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian. Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Oh, man. Sebastian's crazy. Turn me in. We gotta, we gotta try and Sebastian, defuse the situation. You, that? you saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, and I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You're an idiot. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Enough's enough. I don't know what to do, Sebastian. You don't know. Oh. You do know. Yeah, calm Anne down. No one. I regret everything I did. I know what I did was wrong. I only hope she can forgive me. That everyone can forgive me. No matter what happens from here. I'm glad we met. Where's he going? Oh, Sebastian. Let's talk. Ominous. What a mess. This is a complete it. mess. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Ah. Oh. What to do? What to do? I don't... Oh, the, right, the right thing to do is to turn him in. Because he could kill again. But it sounds like he's let go of dark magic. So this is the last chance, Sebastian. This is the last chance. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. Yeah. He's not going to do anything like this again. 
We've both heard that before. Yeah. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. Mm. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Omnis. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. You're not too bad, Ominous. I made the mistake. We should have should have stopped all this dark magic as soon as it started. It's my own fault. Crime doesn't pay. However, I feel like Sebastian's still going to be up to no good. Also, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Look at him. The model's broken. It's like stuck on the inside of his leg. That is funny. See you later. Got another quest. But he's right next to us, so I assume we haven't got to go far. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. It's literally there. You're there. Why have I got to go to the Undercroft? You're there, Seb. What are you doing? Why are we talking to him again? Or is that like the last mission? He just loops. Nobody knows. We'll see now. I guess. Are we going to give him feedback on what Ominous discussed? Nope, the game's broken. Ay 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 ay. What is this doing? Is it really stuck in my quest log? Yep. Is it just stuck because they're the last quest you get for them? Let's go. Let's go talk to Natty and find out if anything different is being told. Man, this this game has been running smoothly until the end. I hope you're all having a good day. Let's see. Let's see. Let's fall asleep on the floor. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted... Natty? Is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father... But he should still be here. No. Ah, oh, this is the... How many times did it crash yesterday? Thank you for speaking with me. That's probably like the fifth time I've seen that. Oh, I also ran that way before and got myself into a crash. So, let's see. Pop is the only thing that feels live like it's moving. Let's head there. Ah, oh, nice. We got quite a good route as well. We've had 14 mivrit, 14 mivrit, 14 minutes of diverin. Let's try and get into a game. Close, very close. Hello. It's you. Oh. Let's see what's going on here. Wait till night time. You made it. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. I received an interesting owl from Joanna Bickle about Harlow. Is that a different quest? It's me in the Great Hall. No. Yeah, we got some fun quests going on. Let's go. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. Seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. 
It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Let's go. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. It's game time. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Is there anyone to find out? Stare yeah. blindly at the moonstone garden. Into the bar. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out. Let's get the spiders out here. Now we can't find them, fight them, but we can get a chest. Some spectacles. Pow. What are we looking at down here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, it's one of them big toads. Could blow it up. But let's try not to. What is going on with that? Show us your moves. How about that one? That's cool the way you walk through the corridor and fire starts. Oh, could we have captured them? Foibers. No. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Check in for loot. The moonstone is here and so are Foipers. I wonder if it's being protected. Here. What was that? Why am I not surprised? First the Foopers and now this. Rebellion. We need to find moths for those spinners. Maybe we do. Understand. Ah, okay. I understand a bit now. So we're after that one. And we're after that one. Perhaps the rooms on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. And we need what else is there? That one. And the uh, the waves, which is that one? Lumos. Lumos. There we go. There's one. Repair. There's the other one. We did it. Lumos. Look at that. Uh, dare I say we're figuring out how to puzzle. Is that not yet? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, we push it. You have to do it loads. We did it. Another obstacle. 
Uh, why are you giving me puzzles when I'm so close to the end? We are looking for moths, my friend. Uh, guess we can't climb up there. Oh. Do we take the moths off here? Is that how we do it? take that moth. Lumos. Never noticed it before that the you can reuse the same moths. Interesting. Um, not sure what the plan is but let's push it. Is that a lot of them in place? It's convenient. Repero. I just found myself using Repero as a way to break the spell. Looks slightly ridiculous. Right, is that one locked in place? No, it doesn't matter. Work. Right, that's going to consume them for good, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Going big. Oh, wow. Did it work? Sure. That camera angle is tripping. That thing is down. Um, is there anything else in here? Yeah. Which way are we going? We dive. Now we'll dive after. I thought this is the bubbling location. But no, clearly it means this one. Let's dive into the pool. Where are we? Be is buzzing. <clears throat> even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Uh, what's the best way? Bombarda. Given what Fuipers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many. Of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moon is. There we go. Can we steal them? Talk to me, Pops. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. To the Henge? <clears throat> Let's go. My brother-in-law is going to be livid. He's going to be sitting there going, why not explore? Well, you can do that in May, my friend. Because he's going to play it on the Xbox. Oh, we've nearly made it. Let's go see the centaurs. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. 
We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly say This is when it activated some sort of uh, I weapon of mass destruction. Weapon. Let's make our way down. To eradicate all this kind. Let's go. I think that's it over there. Oh, sugar. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps that would have been bad. She set up oh, I can't fly. And threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I am the one. You should feel terrible. You've gone after the snidges. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Here we go. Let's do it. I don't like these things. to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell gran that i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous You've seen this before. It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about... Tell her. us more. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was... Also, the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Hmm. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about. I'm going to tell everybody, Poppy. Your secret's not safe. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need yeah, we need to see him. what's going on with him. And we've got poachers to beat. We're going to murder them all. I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Let's go. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think... The pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the snidgets lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the oh, no. and we can track him Bruh. down. After he told us if, he's, if the guy sees us again. Agreed. That uh, all move. three of our heads are going to be taken off. I got a bad feeling about this. 
Come on, let's go, 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 go. I didn't even check if we were anywhere near. Oh. I mean, Poppy's quest is gone. This has got to be a different quest, hasn't it? Preparing for the owls. I don't know why I didn't notice that the other day. But we have the end of year exams, don't we? So we still have main quest stuff to do. Let's go. Maybe we do another episode. I'm not sure. I am excited though to play something else. There's two games coming out. One of them's a co-op game with one of my buddies. Who some of you may know from Twitch. Oh. Took your time there, didn't you, Dor? Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Ah, oh, it's a cat, isn't it? Get me every time. Run past them. Hit the square button. Next thing you know, 10 seconds wasted. And don't forget the hideous meow. Come on. Where you at, Weasley? Talk to me. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. <laughs> I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Onai. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you. Professor, I, I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is... Ah, it's is coming to review the field guide. May I see it? Of course. It's not finished. Just going to tell us. you got loads of work to do, kid. Get back at it. What's the verdict? What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Okay, calm down. you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. Now I take these ridiculous glasses off. The rest of your time with us. That's what she should be saying to us. Okay, well, at least we had that nice cutscene. And we can rub her. And that's what I would be saying if we didn't have too much loot. Man, this would not get old. The house cup. Reach level 34. Uh, where are we going? Inventory? No gear. Let's check out some stuff. This is rubbish. The gloves. Let's delete them. Anything else that's green? These glasses. These glasses. Both are trash. We want these because they are the ones. It's weird then thinking that the wrong glasses are um, 
glasses are more sensible, but no, we're repping them. If you to delete, some green. That and that. They're going in the bin. Oh, I need to delete the wrong thing. So we've got five open slots. Let's go pick up that gear. Oh, and I tell you what, every time it freezes, it makes me nervous. Uh, where are we going? Quests. Let's go to this one. Let's go, Natty. Miles away again. Good job we figured out where this blue flame was. Dun, 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 dun. Come on now. Dun, 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 dun. Do, dun, 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 dun. Let's, let's fly. Going at it. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yeah, I am. I'm ready to finish Harlow. Once That's about to get before. wrecked. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having Mrs. Bickle to Harlow, suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it, was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Uh, Bickle. It came from him. I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Let's go. Let's finish. This is when we rock up and he's like level 40. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding <laughs> it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished. <laughs> and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. I sense he is close. Okay. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go for the old throw rocks that everybody build. Oh, it just reminded me there was a talent that we were going to upgrade. Let's use it now. Even though it's making us be more evil. It was this one. So everyone that's cursed dies when you use Avracadavra. Sounds good to me. Let's curse a load of people. As if you couldn't lose me. Petrific has Come on, curse him. Now kill everybody. There we go. Man, that is so much faster. Boom. 
That's quite easy. Matty looks tired. Get the program. Little Nats Ionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> Let's go. But I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem solving skills. Uh oh. Just hmm. do it. You don't stand a chance, do you? Do nobody. Pow, you're dead. <laughs> 28,000 damage. It's like the ultimate way of killing bosses. Oh, here we go. You don't want to mess with me, man. You're messing with Eliza Average. She's going to mess you up. I feel like using the killing curse is a bit of a cheat. Oh no! She died! She can't be dead. Also, we should get in trouble. We use the killing curse, and they could have seen it. Nah, Natty's not dead. Imagine that'd be crazy. Yeah, she's good. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it would be really good to see my friends. Can't Very shoot her. Well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, Mother. Let's go, Natty. Ruh. Chills. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I am sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself. You shouldn't have turned you back in combat. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today. Then I am to blame for my father's sacrifice. Oh, she's figured it out. It seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead. Harlow is on his way to Azkaban. And the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. Woo! You, my fellow travelers, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. Yeah. It is always good to see you. The Avenging Gazelle achievement.
All right. Let's see what other quests we got in the pipeline. Why is that still there? Is it not completed it? We've got to go to it again. Guessing. I'm guessing when we left the room, because Seb was outside the room, it's buggered up the, uh, the completion of the quest. Because we didn't see the symbol, did we, come up? Either to say quest complete. So let's see. I'll be gutted if it um, doesn't have him standing in the spot. Let's find out. If it's the conversation again, we'll skip through it. He's be standing there. There he is. I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I received your L. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about uh -oh. what happened with my uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry. But I'm glad to know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Yeah, you did. And yeah, she could come back. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't. Ah, we should have stopped him. But I believe in you. So then we wouldn't know the curses. I've had a sense about you since that first day in defense against the dark arts. Seems so long ago. We whooped you. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Ah. Uh, shallow Brave achievement. Was that his last one? This is quite emotional. Tying up all loose ends, I think it was. Sure what we should do. What's going on here? Uh, there's just some collectors that we've not picked up. Is there anything else significant? No. Let's leave the exit. Where is it? I'm trapped. Where's the door? It's that way. Well, I think... We'll head outside. We'll see if any more quests appear. And what we'll do is we'll set up a route to get outside. Can we not set a waypoint? There we go. Alright, let's walk out of Hogwarts then for the last time. It's been good. We've had fun, learnt a lot. I've recommended this game to loads of people to play. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for And it's been really fun. Stones. And I'm looking forward to playing more because I'm going to play a bit more of my free time and complete chunks more of the game that I've not really done. But for now, for the YouTube series, we'll head outside. Hogwarts for the final time. The times we've been around this these uh, hallways. <laughs> Not that much seems as though we started fast travelling. I remember all the excitement from originally coming through all these areas. First time leaving the grounds. That was pretty cool. Oh, really, we need to switch it to daytime. Let's switch it to daytime. Which <laughs> at some point I'll remember how to do. It's in here, I think, isn't it? Wait, here we go. You hadn't been there. Is it daytime? That's a bit, a bit overcast. We want it in the middle of the day. I'm stalling while I'm figuring out what I'm doing. Here we go. Daytime. 
No. So it's literally a daytime night time cycle. Oh, this this dramatic ending has uh backfired completely. I guess we're going out in the morning. Here we go. So while the sun is rising. Punished. Bar perhaps a little cleanup of the ground. But if this happens again, it'll be a most gruesome detention. Yes, Madam Kagawa. Marvelous dedication to the sport. Well, this has been Hogwarts Legacy. It's your boy, Ravage Luke. In honor of respect for our game, our playthrough, Eliza Ravage. We will do one final lap of Hogwarts as the sun rises. I can get any higher. Here we go. Never thought I found out what the skybox limit was. Here we go. So there it is, the mighty Hogwarts. I hope you enjoyed watching the series. Quite emotional and sad. Time has gone really quick. Like how many hours have we done? 28. Yeah, I remember flying around here first time with Sebastian. We flew further down, didn't we? Because we saw the sliver in that squid thing. Let's come around the other side. Been as far as the eye can see. There's still loads to do. That bridge was pretty epic the first time we saw that. Can we fly through them? I'm guessing we can't. We're too big. Yeah, we're too big. Go on this way. We go around the Owl Tower. This music's really sad. We need something a bit more upbeat and exciting. Go around the Quidditch pitch. Who knows if Quidditch becomes like a DLC, we shall be back on here. Still British ground. We shall end it. I think right here. So. It's been your average Luke. It's been Hogwarts Legacy. It's been Eliza Average. There she is. Thank you for watching this series. I've had a load of fun and I hope you have too. And very soon i'll be releasing two new games so the first one is going to be a game called call to the lamb which i'm looking forward to which is like an indie game like a dungeon crawler game roguelike and another game which is like a co-op puzzle game called blank which i'm going to play very soon as well with one of my friends but for now we shall end it there thank you again for watching it's been a pleasure and I shall see you very soon. Have a good day. Good evening. And from me and Eliza, peace.